Hello. This is the listening test. Part 1 Listen to the recording and circle the appropriate answer. A, B or C. You are listening to Radio South. Here is some information about a pop concert. The group Red River will come to London soon. They will be in London from the 28th of October to the 2nd of November. After that, they will be in Oxford from the 4th of November until the 9th. Tickets are quite expensive. They cost £37 each, but half of that money will go to a children's hospital. Tickets will sell quickly for this famous band, so book early. To book a ticket for a London concert, telephone 283-0065 between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Have a credit card number ready. The London concerts will be in South Bank Hall. It's very easy to find. The best way to get there is to take the train. The concert hall is in Trinity Street. That's T R I N I T Y Street. See you there. Now listen again. You are listening to Radio South. Here is some information about a pop concert. The group Red River will come to London soon. They will be in London from the 28th of October to the 2nd of November. After that, they will be in Oxford from the 4th of November until the 9th. Tickets are quite expensive. They cost £37 each, but half of that money will go to a children's hospital. Tickets will sell quickly for this famous band, so book early. To book a ticket for a London concert, telephone 283-0065 between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Have a credit card number ready. The London concerts will be in South Bank Hall. It's very easy to find. The best way to get there is to take the train. The concert hall is in Trinity Street. That's T R I N I T Y Street. See you there. Now look at part two. Listen to the recording and circle the appropriate answer A, B or C. Later this week, Americans will celebrate the nation's Independence Day. On July 4, 1776, colonial leaders approved the final Declaration of Independence for the United States. This year, the city of New York will also celebrate the opening of part of an important symbol of America that has been closed to the public for the past eight years. The Statue of Liberty has stood in New York Harbor for more than 100 years. It was a gift from the people of France in 1884. Its full name is Liberty Enlightening the World. The Statue of Liberty is 46 meters tall from its base. It is made mostly of copper. Throughout history, images of liberty have been represented as a woman. The statue is sometimes called Lady Liberty. The Statue of Liberty's face was created to look like the sculptor's mother. Her right arm holds a torch with a flame 
high in the air. Her left arm holds a tablet with the date of the Declaration of Independence, July 4, 1776. On her head she wears a crown of seven points. Each is meant to represent the light of freedom as it shines on the seven seas and seven continents of the world. Twenty-five windows in the crown represent gemstones found on earth. A chain that represents oppression lies broken at her feet. Now listen again. Later this week, Americans will celebrate the nation's Independence Day. On July 4, 1776, colonial leaders approved the final Declaration of Independence for the United States.